How are all you otters doing today? Mr. B here on a quiet playground. I sure do miss hearing all you playing and laughing out here, but that's the space we're in. Well, I have a book today I wanted to read to you from the big toy. Nobody hugs a cactus. I can see why nobody would hug a cactus. And this book is by Carter Goodrich. Hank lived in a pot. The pot sat in a window. The window looked out at the empty desert. It was hot, dry, peaceful, and quiet, just the way Hank liked it. But every now and then, somebody would interrupt Hank's peace and quiet. Hi, Hank, Rosie the tumbleweed called out. Isn't it a beautiful day? Hank ignored her. He just wanted to be left alone. Okay, so long, said Rosie cheerfully, and she tumbled away. Hank was happy again. But, just as he was beginning to relax, Hello! shouted a tortoise. Private property! yelled Hank. Keep out! The tortoise was so frightened he hid in his shell. Hank was still yelling at the tortoise when a jackrabbit dashed by. Hiya, Prickles, she shouted. My name isn't Prickles, Hank yelled back, and stay out of my yard. <laughs> Tumbleweeds, tortoises, jackrabbits, what's next, said Hank. A coyote. A coyote came loping by. No dogs allowed, Hank yelled. I'm not a dog, said the coyote, and you are as prickly on the inside as you are on the outside. Before Hank could yell back at the coyote, a cowboy strode past. Keep off the grass, shouted Hank. What grass, said the cowboy. Seems to me somebody needs a hug. Too bad nobody hugs a cactus. Hi, said a lizard. Who invited you, said Hank. And just in case you're wondering, I don't want a hug. Well, that's good, said the lizard, because I don't want to give you one. And then he skittered away. An owl landed on the roof. If you're looking for a hug, said Hank, well, I guess I could just give you one. Whoo, me, said the owl. You must be joking. And for the first time ever, Hank began to feel a little lonely. The next morning, Hank was feeling more sad inside than prickly. Maybe a hug wouldn't be so bad after all. The wind began to pick up and an old cup blew by and stuck to Hank's face. His arms were too short to get it off. Oh, great, said Hank. After a while, Rosie came bouncing by. I'll get it off you, Hank, she shouted, and she jumped up to knock the cup off Hank's face, and then she tumbled away. Hank didn't even have time to thank Rosie. 
He felt bad about all the other times he had been so rude to her, so he came up with a plan. Hank decided to grow the best flower he could, and then give it to Rosie as a thank you gift. It took days, but at last it was ready. He couldn't wait for Rosie to pass by again. When at last she finally did come bouncing back, Hank held out the flower. Look, Rosie, he said, I grew it just for you. Rosie was so surprised she jumped up and gave Hank a great big hug. It felt so nice Hank didn't want to let go, and as things turned out, he couldn't. Rosie and Hank had become stuck together. But they didn't care. After all, it's better to be stuck in a hug than stuck all alone. Well, that's a good book. I would recommend you go give somebody in your house a hug. Have a great day, otters.